Everything the city of San Angelo has done this past year, from how many streets we've repaved to the number of times we've mowed the Texas Bank Sports Complex has been guided by the budget. That financial blueprint adopted each September directly impacts which services your municipal government will provide, by whom, and to what degree. In other words, it prioritizes what we're to do and how we're to do it. This year, the City Council has established five priorities. They are water infrastructure and supply, street maintenance, employee salaries, improved development processes, and a renovated or new police station. To the extent that those priorities require funding in the coming year, the 2014-2015 budget will reflect that. The City of San Angelo's budget in the current fiscal year is $138 million. The collection and expenditure of those funds are outlined in an award-winning budget document posted on the City's website at cosatx.us slash budget. The City budget is actually a collection of many budgets. Some of those budgets are classified as special revenue funds, including Fort Concho, Nursing, and Neighborhood and Family Services. Those operations may be funded by a range of revenue sources, including taxes, earned income, and grants. Other budgets are designated enterprise funds because they provide services to citizens in exchange for charges, much as a private enterprise does. Examples of enterprise funds include water, solid waste, and the airport. By far, the largest of the funds, at approximately $61 million, is the general fund. The general fund generates the most attention from the public and from the City Council for two reasons. One, the general fund encompasses many municipal services, including fire and police protection, parks and recreation, animal services, streets, and traffic controls. Two, the general fund is supported primarily through sales and property taxes, both of which the public pays. Property taxes account for 44% of the general fund's revenue. As does the school district in the county, the City of San Angelo contracts with the Tom Green County Central Appraisal District to determine property values within its jurisdiction. The property tax rate the City Council adopts is applied to those values minus possible exemptions. For example, an exemption of 20% is applied if a property is the owner's primary residence or homestead. That calculation yields the owner's property tax levy for the year. Because property values within the city limits are projected to rise this year, we're budgeting a 4.8% increase in property tax revenues. That number may change once certified property values are released in late July. However, whether an individual property owner's levy increases will depend upon his property's valuation and the rate established by the City Council. This year's rate is 77.6 cents per $100 of value, the lowest the rate has been in 23 years. Sales tax collections account for another 27% of general fund revenue. San Angelo's robust and growing economy has led us to conservatively project an 8.5% increase in sales tax collections in the coming fiscal year. Fully half of all general fund expenditures are for police and fire protection. Personnel costs such as salaries and benefits account for 71% of general fund expenses. Another 23% is spent on operations and maintenance. In closing, it should be noted that budgets are not etched in stone. Throughout each fiscal year, the budget is regularly amended to account for the many unforeseeable contingencies, both in revenue and expenses, that always arise. Even so, the priorities expressed in the budget serve as guideposts to progress.